Yo, 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 what up, yo. motherfucker? Yo, 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 shut the fuck up, bro. Listen to the dark race for the dark race. We got a lot, we got a lot, we got a lot. Jeff Bezos just shoveling money at the environment for Everything some Everything you watch is fake, and you know it. And we got that in-depth review of Sonic the Hedgehog, the greatest movie in the universe. All-Star Game Weekend is better than WrestleMania? I mean, I'm the right one to say it. That's like a shit this morning that was better than WrestleMania. Let's jump into Yo, it. Yo, shut the fuck Yo, up, bro. Fuck up, I'm listening to Dark Race for the Dark Race. Thank you, Matt. Yo, girl. What up, girl? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck's up? What up, baby? That's how you do this, right there, hey, everyone. What's up? You know the you know the game. You know the shit. That's right, it's Dark Racial Humor, free-flowing end of conversation about whatever's appropriate at the time. It's your Monday episode, I'm Bon Jen. Caller John David Ricker, welcome to the most profitable podcast on the history of the planet. Coming to you live from Adobe House in South Los Angeles, home of such teams as the Clippers and the the, the Sparks. That's uh, right. such, such people as Kendrick Lamar and um, your aunt. That's Kobe, from, from Nipsey. Down there. You know, all the good people. You're getting two episodes today, Will baby. Will Smith? No. Will Smith? Nick Cannon? <laughs> Who cares where Nick I Cannon's claim, from? I, I claim Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon, Cannon claims you. Did you see that tweet? No. Where he was like, <laughs> I'm not going to get married because I'm, again, because I don't like doing things I'm not good at. And someone was like, we've been rapping that. for 20 years. <laughs> Oh, he's from San Diego, dude. I oh. claim, claim Nick Cannon. Oh, holding it down, bro. He's yours. He's your boo. <laughs> Thank you. He's your man. On on behalf of all people born in San Diego. Um, we just... Are you the king of San Diego? No, dude. Mr. Mr. Coronado? <laughs> Coronado means the crowned one. The, wow. Yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. we They crowned that bitch my... right away from the fucking natives, dude. I, I don't... I want to say natives and i want to know specific tribes now dude let me know what tribe y- y'all rep and so i can do your preferred pronoun i rep all the tribes i work with a guy that's like super into his native heritage that's dope dude. what tribe is he i don't know don't really does he yeah he knows i don't really cool. i don't really want to delve into it with him why not dude don't really care you don't like crows hell's that crows dude just crows bird. The, the bird, the bird crow. The bird is cool. The bird of death. Yes. Is it of death? Yeah. You see. How come the only ones I see are alive? You see a crow. That means someone's about to die. I see hella crows all the time because they eat corpses. They like to see all the living things in the corpse. Yeah, that's Cause right. Because there's a bunch of living organisms in the corpses, so they light up a lot. Birds are crazy. Dark Racial Humor, dude, at Dark Racial Humor on Instagram. If you're a fan of the pod, go to AdobeHouse.live. Buy a shirt. If you go to the store, go Give to the podcast tab. Money. You can go to Patreon. Give us your money. Anchor.fm slash dark racial humor. Yes. Give us your money. Please. How was your weekend, dude? How was your day? How was your day? Uh, it was chill, dude. Just got back from Portland, Both Oregon. We're away, which is the apt reason for that song as an intro. Oh, Did been you- away. Did you did you catch that? Yeah, but that I was wasn't getting one. my paper straight. I was spending paper. Dude, I was getting that paper straight, dude. I was getting I, that paper crooked. I, I had an iron, and it was just straighten the fuck out of that just bitch. Just blowing money, bro. Just Doing what? Adidas store, bro. 50%. 50% off. Five dude, zero. I don't, I don't have a, um, a, a boo thing yet. But I do have like a, a cheering thing. I'm five gonna re- zero. Gonna reverse that. Bitch. You see that backpack right there? You see that backpack right there? Is that a nice backpack? Do you like that backpack? Um, Twenty five dollars. <laughs> would Would you not buy that backpack? No, I have a thing about backpacks, and I like mine. Twenty five. Uh, my current back. Well, my old backpack was broken, so I was like, you know what? Oh, okay. Twenty five dollars. Sure, sure, sure. I'm gonna get that backpack. I need. I, I'm really used to and accustomed to the pockets of my backpack. Right. And I love them. I like the the laptop in the back 
two giant ass pockets, dude, mm-hmm. two little front pockets, and then a front pouch, two what side is, pouches. Yours waterproof? No. Oh, fuck, dude. I could toss that bitch in a river <laughs> with all my tech in there, and it'll be fine. That's pretty cool a couple months out, unless yeah. you're in Oregon. Yeah. What'd you do in Oregon? Walked around and... Look at trees? I drank a lot. Yeah? I, I drank a lot in Oregon. What kind of beers? Just... Alcohol? Anything to get the pain. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because my parents went to bed at like 7.30. Might as well just drink. And dude. they were like, we don't want you leaving the hotel, you know, even though I'm 24. Yeah, yeah. And so I was like, Shit. well... You know, yeah. Oregon's a rough and nasty place. Dude. There's deers. Nothing to do but fucking drink. What'd you drink? Uh, a lot of whiskey. Ew. Yeah. What are you? Is it cheap? It is fucking... Seven dollars a, a cup? It was about that. Maybe six. You get a nice IPA? I, I was Over just there in Oregon? Drinking, dude. They probably have a nice... Some kind of tree ale. I ate a fat edible a couple of nights. Uh-huh. Watched Sonic the Hedgehog on... Uh, the debut of the... No, 123movies.com or whatever it is. Uh because I saw it got good reviews, and I was like, how good could this be? And it was, uh, it was cute. That's not going to convince me to watch it? I wouldn't. I'm I, not going to. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. If it was, if I was nine, I would love it. But, yeah. You know, pretty whatever it's, well, movie. It's kind of one of those nostalgia slash bring your kids to your nostalgia movies. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm in between both of those things. What else did I do? Just, you know, chill. Went to a bookstore. Lots of bookstores there. That's cool. Lots of hipsters. Was it like Portlandia? I've only seen one episode of Portlandia. So Is Portland in Oregon? Yes. It's kind of like San Francisco, but flat. It's like San Francisco? But flat. Like in the people? No, like in the everything. Hmm. But it's like, there's no, there's like mountains, but there's no like hills. That's cool. Yeah. So, you know. You're just I, surrounded by mountains. Just surrounded by mountains and people with dogs and people with so It's like Arizona. Kind of. Except Ish. like not, Ter- not I as mean, geography wise. Death. Yeah. Not as deathly. Nice. Yeah. How was your weekend in Coronado, San Diego, California, United States, Earth? It's kind of just Coronado, California. Right. Uh, took a train ride, dude. Brought a VHS. Uh, camcorder and got some footage gonna make into a video porn no oh fuck no um just i got mainly train footage footage of my mother and my sister shout out mom she loves the pod oh nice laughs in her car which is dangerous dude oh shit dangerous to do that jane don't listen to the pod (laughs) in the car it's dangerous Um, she's loving this segment right now um Footage of my mother and my sister, footage of some NBA games, footage of... That footage is going to come in helpful in the future when you're all alone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no. That's kind of... It's it's a song. It's just in, like a, a beat, but it's a instrumental of like a song that's kind of sad and shit, and that was kind of in my mind. Um, footage of fucking 9-11. There was... Okay, dude. You filmed 9-11. <laughs> you were there. National Geographic was having a dope 9-11 marathon. Okay. It was, it was just dope. all day marathons of, of fucking documentaries. There was one that was about Bush, and he was just in this... Like, he was somewhere else, and he was flying, and 9-11 was just going on. Yeah. And they're like, yo, we're in the fucking sky. There yeah. was like a scare with... Someone got a call. And then they reported to the Air Force One. They're like, yo, uh, they said Angel's next. And Angel was the code name for Air Force One. So they're like, oh, shit, dude. It's just some inside man shit. Must have been scary. And so it was just about that. And then there was another one that was all um, like found footage of 9-11 stuff. Yeah. It was called 102 Hours That Changed the U.S. probably. My, uh, my phone is just out of storage. Um, nice, dude, just fucking me, <laughs> binning me over. Dude, well, all, all of this footage, I was, I had to export somehow. Fam, do I'm you not, not get, have Google Photos? Well, I had to delete all. I had to up, update my Google Photos so I could get just two hours worth of VHS peep holder footage. God, you're <laughs> such a mess. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you think uh, I'm gonna buy a fucking hundred dollar VHC converter? VHSC? No. No, dude. I'm gonna fucking put my iPhone. Up to the peephole. Oh, that's what you did? Yeah. 
it's dope. It's dope looking. Wait, is that what you do for your music video? Yeah. See, on that one, that was Wilbur's camera. Yeah. But that one had a flip out um, like screen, but I just fucking iPhone that bitch. Wow. Yeah, crop it's it. Ghetto as fuck, but okay. I mean, is it though? <laughs> it's probably better than any converter ever. <laughs> Perhaps. It maybe? probably doesn't look the same, but I got an iPhone. Go fuck yourself. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, I guess I have to. <laughs> you know what it is, dude. And dude, yeah, I was watching the the nine eleven found really cool and like the way it was edited and all this shit. And uh <laughs> I was watching it with my mother and it was like I was just laughing sometimes. Cock. I don't know why, but like and she was like, Why the fuck are you laughing? She's <laughs> like, This is what I do. If I was a conscious adult when nine yeah. eleven happened, I would yeah. never fly again. Yeah. I f- I, w- I would probably maybe not laugh as hard if i experienced it i was also thinking maybe if i had a kid i wouldn't be laughing at kobe wow you Um, laughed at kobe you suck i laugh at everything dude if you give me some dark dark shit that makes people feel things (laughs) i'm gonna laugh at it your mother's fingernails being ripped out of her hands (laughs) That too emotionally attached. Don't like that. Oh yeah, it, it hurts. But like afterwards, I'd be like, "Damn, you got some fucked up nails." <laughs> you, <laughs> gonna get a, you gonna get a manicure? Or Mom, what? <laughs> <laughs> dripping blood on the table. It's fucking gross, dude. Yeah, it's like Elias's black fingernails. Yeah, the I, one. I the always one. make take time to make sure I throw out a nice gay joke at those those nails. The nail polish. I was I was on the phone with my. My grandmother. Yes, and you just say my roommate's digging in his ass, so his nails are always black. No, 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 no. Oh. And, the, and I said uh, she was talking about a couple, and she was like something on the line, along the lines of like, "I'm not too sure," and then stopped, and and then she said, "You know, she's real tomboyish," and she was seeing if she was a lesbian because she's southern, ah, and old. She's not that old. Tomboyish. Yeah, so she's like, I wonder if this lady was a lesbian. If you said, I'm Grandma, from the South. I like men, what do you think she would say? She'd be like, ah, are you sure? Are you sure? Just pray on it, honey. <laughs> Just pray about it. Probably that. Probably that. Yeah. She's I was also at, not my blood grandma. I was at a bar in Portland. <laughs> I had to swear her in blood style. She's not your blood grandma. No, no, no. Then who cares what she thinks? <laughs> You're at what? But I love her. Cause she's the only one I knew. Whoa! Why don't you just marry her? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, where were you? I was at a, a bar in Portland, and it was a gay bar, and I didn't in realize Portland. that yeah. until because it's Portland. I went to the bathroom, <laughs> and for some reason there was no women's restroom. I don't know why I realized that, but uh, I was like, "Huh?" Because usually only, you see a women's restroom. Yeah, there's only a guys' bathroom in here, but there were women in the bar, so I was like, "Where do they pee?" <laughs> Where do they pee? How does this work? How did it work? I don't know. Shit. I, yeah. But yeah. And I got a blue moon and then I... Blue moon. Blue moon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't fuck with blue moon, bro? No, dude. I you really don't. don't. fuck with the tangy, crisp taste of when, a refreshing blue moon on a hot summer day? When I was in high day. school, I did. But then I was like, this tastes like uh, how a... Delicious? You know how a pumpkin spice anything is very overly sugary and overly... Like there's something in here? Yeah. That's a blue moon. And it's an automatic Ooh. headache as soon as it touches your lip. You got to shove that fucking orange in there and just <laughs> gluck, 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 gluck. What's your favorite beer? Um, I think the one I have the most is just like Stone, Stone IPAs. I forgot what that tastes like. Tastes delicious. I love a good Coronado Brewing Company beer. Tastes like rocks, probably. Just tastes like a nice, nice salt of the earth beer. You know the fucking vibes. Don't you? I went back in San Diego. You, <laughs> you, you gotta get a beer whenever you're there. Uh, I got a a 2020 un, double unfiltered IPA from Stone Brewing Company. Yeah, it was good. You think about beer as just bread water? I love bread and I love water. <laughs> you you fucking put some other little herbs in that bitch and it gets you a little woo woo. Gets me so fat. I get so fat. I get. That's because <laughs> you're. You drink, <laughs> I know that is true, but you're drinking fucking yeast, blue moons, and whiskey, dude. Nah, it's not the. It's Did fucking, you have whiskey with soda or just whiskey on Rocco's? It's all beer. Whiskey? No, all beer will make me bloated. It's not blue moon. Yeah, but 
blue moon is just full of sugar poo poo. Bro, it's fucking just beer. But fucking, Sweet. what did you ask me? Rocks? Whiskey on the Rockos? Oh, yeah. It's whiskey the... whiskey on the Rockos modern life? Should have just had it straight. Got all watery. Oh. Yeah. I don't get the point of that shit. What? Besides, I guess, getting drunk. Yeah, that's the point. Then I get that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like, whiskey. Yeah. It tastes terrible, but I got to drink before I get on a plane. Always. Mm. If I don't, pussy bitch. it's the worst turbulence ever. But when I do, it's a smooth flight. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know why. Maybe because you control the earth with your mental state. Nah. You don't think No, it's like, it's like literally there's like not one bump of turbulence when I'm just whacked out. It's because you're thinking about it when you're whacked out. When I'm just whacked out. I'm just like, I got drunk for nothing. And then when I'm just like, you know what? I don't need to drink this time. I can handle it. The pilot just gives up and starts fucking pointing the nose of the plane toward the earth. Damn. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, next time I'm definitely going to fucking drink because I can't do this anymore. I got my papers changed. Love that song. What song? Love the first beginning of that album. The new Brent Fayaz. I got my papers changed. After the song after that, it's kind of like, what are we doing here, Brent? I'm just trying to get my... I'm glad he cut all the skits. He used to put a lot of skits in his shit. He has skits at the end. Of this one? Of the songs. Oh, I just skipped that shit. Yeah. Like, that's fine. The, but at, before he had my songs? Yeah. That's just rude. That's just like... Like, what are you doing? Like, it's rude. Put that shit on Audible. Like, don't put that <laughs> shit on Spotify. We don't need that shit. Yeah, people would probably buy it if you had a, 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 a rapper audiobook of skits. Probably, yeah. Brent Fires. Someone skit, had so many skit books, fucking dude. skits, dude. Fuck who? Tory Lanez on his first <laughs> album. You could have made a second album with all the skits he had, bro. Could have made an audiobook. I deleted all of his skits, and there were still like 18 songs. <laughs> I didn't really listen to Tory Lanez. <laughs> oh, God. I don't anymore. J. Cole just put out a Puma commercial called Puma. Dreams. And it's just, dudes. I didn't watch the whole thing, but he's a... Uh... <laughs> no one's going to go out and buy no fucking Puma shoes, bro. I bought Pumas. Really? Yeah, dude. Pumas are fucking mad ugly, dude. Bro, Clyde Swades, bro. They're, they're, they're fly. They're fly. Where are they? Let me see them. They're in there, dude. Go in there. I'll keep it busy. Oh, if they're on the shelf, bro. They're black. Uh, Clyde Frazier. Throwbacks, I believe. Uh, suede. They got a gold puma on the back, dude. You can't tell me, dude. You cannot tell me that shit is not an okay looking shoe for this type of dude, bro. Tell me. Come back to this mic and, and say what's on your mind, dude. It just doesn't know what it wants to be. Is it a skateboard shoe? Is it a basketball shoe? I'm like what's saying, up? I'm just, so that shoe apparently <clears throat> just make up your mind was a, a a shoe of old New York Nick Clyde Frazier. Yeah, and uh, he had a signature Puma shoe, and I kind of bought it because I needed some new shoes. I had a hole on the bottom of mine, and I was like, like the NBA has like Adidas and Nike. But like, who's really rocking the Poom Pooms? You got Kawhi with uh, the New Balances, and I'm kind of a fan of a New Balance, but I wouldn't wear New Balance. Like, I'm not a fucking loon. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a DJ. Shout out DJ Herm. I'm not a, a big, uh, a hairy looking dude. Shout out yeah. FS, dude. I'm. I'm not. I'm a Puma dude. Do you have a new girlfriend, or is that the same I think girl? It's the same one, and there was a really just. I didn't need to see that picture on your Instagram story with your shit phone. I hope I me the, no oh. Jago. I hope I didn't see it. You, yet. you didn't because you don't know what it is. What is it? It was just him in between legs. Then I think I did see it. I just didn't want to see it. I think I've seen worse from him though. <laughs> it's just like sure. I think I've seen once. Like I feel like we're gonna get like video of him eating her ass <laughs> very soon. Very, very yeah. soon. Dude, I love... I've I've had this happen with two people in my life. Yeah. Uh, they're in a relationship, and then they're like, ah, oh, I'm broken up. And I'm yeah. like, ah, oh, dude, you're fucking broken up. That's like, you know, whatever, dude. It's like, you know, you had a good time with it. And then a couple fucking weeks later, it's like, with my boo, I'm like, what the happened to your breakup, dude? Who? Uh, one was J-Gal, and one was Dom. Who, Dom? Yeah. He was broken up for like a day. 
with some with the person he's not with now. With the who is now? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a little different. That's a little different. I feel like we should talk about this after the break. That's like breaking up with someone and then getting with someone else. Is like I feel like that's worse. But yeah, breaking but up with I'm your talking ex. about two different things. Oh. It's like you're broken up for a day, <laughs> and purely my perspective and like not their relationship perspective. But I'm like, oh, you're broken up. And I'm like, all right. I have a little notebook. Like, okay, Dom single. <laughs> But then I got, but then I fucking realized, dude, with their Instagram pictures and Valentine's Day, I got to fucking rescratch my book of my friends' relationships, dude. I didn't even know they broke up. All right, but they weren't. Anyways, we'll be right back. <laughs> you do if you caught your girl texting Brent you know how Brent be bro <laughs> oh leave her you know how Brent is he doesn't trust you <laughs> Fucking you're just a you're just a, a road hoe <laughs> hmm. hey, I, I was wondering how they would get this box Cause it's not really like Just like a pitch down Could be Or it could just be Analog everything Or not Could be definitely digital not, everything not. Probably most digital Maybe they're playing it And then they were re-recording it Through an iPhone voice memos So it uh, sounds like shit No but it, it sounds lower in pitch Maybe they're th- running it through A voice lower on another app On an iPhone That'd be dope He'd probably be dead if he was basic. He's basic, bro. That's what he wants. Say the good shit, Brent. Yo. Say it, Brent. Yo, 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 yo. Come on. He's saying he's a walking erection. So he's always hard. Just fucking the world. Hmm. You know how Brent is, I guess. Baby, you know how Brent is. Oh, God. Oh, shit. <laughs> Baby, I'm just sexting Brent. Fucking chill. You're so fucking jealous all the time. Why are you so insecure? Get over it, all right? Shit. Oh, man. It's not all about you. <laughs> Go to your room. I send this pic, this oh, pussy pic shit. to Brent. Dude, Brent has really cool visuals for these songs. So how bad is the last Brent Fire as compared to so that? bad? It's just so okay. bad. Because there's some shit where I would I would usually say like, damn, um, there's a lot of stuff in the past that I this would, is unforgivable. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll just I'll just I won't I won't touch it. I I just yesterday actually forgave got around to forgiving Chris Brown. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. For, for, that, for that bad album <laughs> <laughs> So long Chris Brown releases A shit ton of music That's cool Probably That's more cool. than any Artist ever His album's like 45 <laughs> um, songs long I wonder If it's doing good I think he has a solid bass Probably not Like what it an album Like are they playing Fucking Run It Or are they playing That new 45 Song joint I don't know, but that song he did with Drake was probably a a, a, ni- a well needed spike. Yeah, in his that got the algorithm going. You see that little dicky trailer? No, I'm good off of it. Really? Yeah, you should watch it. Okay. Yeah, maybe. What maybe, is it? Maybe it's just. I think it's. Is it the Dave thing? Yeah, it's I, a show, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it's scripted, but it looks scripted. Official trailer, but it, it's like about his career official or trailer or the upcoming. 
One came out a month ago, one five days ago. I think the five days ago. Probably that one, yeah. Okay, okay. Just with the, the sick dark racial humor cover. Dude, this is the one. I love this one. Beam me up, Scotty. I'm going in there and I'm going to get some drill. Please don't kick the chairs. I didn't kick it. You have chairs in the middle of a room. You need to wear glasses like you used to. You're a lot cuter then. Turn I think I like on. this. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little dicky in here. Little dicky. Little dicky. Holy shit, man. Why you call yourself little dicky? You got a little dicky? It's never even grown at all since I was a oh. child. <laughs> Do you realize that I'm dating a rapper who I've never heard rap out loud? Will you rap for me right now? Oh my god, rap for me. <laughs> Look. No. Oh, ah! <laughs> oh, oh, YG, little dicky. What up, man? Good to meet you. <laughs> I'm calling because I'm about to access my bar mitzvah money and I thought you should know. Are you crazy? What, <laughs> David, you haven't made a single dollar off of this. I can't profit off of it because it's not my beat. It's just a beat I stole online. <laughs> you I can't stole even... it? Wait a minute, what? Did you steal it? <laughs> oh my God. I'm a once in a generation artist who just got verified on Twitter. I'm glad you feel good that a robot told you you're worth it. I look like the back of a playing card. The swag ain't <laughs> on you, it's in you. Like, what is that, Peach? You got a lot of heart for wearing that color. <laughs> Right. <laughs> How exactly would you describe your brand? Imagine like what 2090 is like, but it's being described by someone who's from 1920. Okay. Like this? Do you believe in me as a rapper? Ooh, ooh. Ah, ah, testing. All these rappers in here popping. You talking about, hi, my name is Dave. You should be like, what's up? It's Lil Dick. It's going to be the biggest name in hip hop. Well, this is weird. It's not weird. <laughs> Everyone does this. Are you sick? I'm <laughs> he said the are you sick to a coughing young thug, which is just great writing. <laughs> Dude, this is basically Silicon Valley, but for rap. Yeah, is it? I love it. What is it? HBO? It's FX. You know, it's that good good. Ah, uh, shit, it's that budget. Scooter Brown does it again. Is that Justin? Kill this shit. Scooter Brown does it again. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh... What are we doing, straight face? My I take the piss here. Yeah. You took a little dicky thing. Appreciate that. Nah, that's... Ah! Okay. <laughs> it's a crypt thing. Yeah, it's a crypt thing. Hold on. <laughs> you took a little dicky thing. Appreciate that. Nah, that's some gang shit. So, gang -shit. yeah. I'm doing crypt every time I do a little dicky thing? <laughs> Dave on FX like premieres like next it. week on FX. Sponsor, Thanks, FX, sponsor. for the check. So Cha ching fun. So much Boom. money. We'll be at the premiere, uh, potting live. So uh, <laughs> get it's ready gonna for be that. loud. Uh, it's not really potting environment, the ideal, but no, nah, we're gonna be doing some press interviews. So get ready for that. Easiest six grand we'll ever make. You're only making six grand. Whoa, what? Is that black thing? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we signed the same. Th I thought we were no, splitting no, no, the no, six. No, no. So where does the three thousand of my six. I don't know who you're six splitting the six. <laughs> they said I was splitting it with. I think that's a Barker thing. All right, I need. Fuck, you're getting fucked on this shit, dude. Yeah. How much are you making? Five. Oh, fuck. Was that a black thing? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> All right. Um. Fuck. Uh. Racist. I, I hey, like, I'm sorry. I feel like I had some topics, but I don't even know what's going on. No, dude, you just gotta go off top, dude. I was thinking in the shower. Uh. This hot water is cruel. Welcome to the new segment. <laughs> what, are you th what are you thankful for? What am I thankful for? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm thankful for my family. Yeah, nice, dude. Yeah. Nice. Um, thankful it's a Monday for my thing. house. Yeah, yeah. I'm thankful for... I mean, you don't own it, but... My health. <laughs> dude, tell me everything you're thankful for, and I'll just knock it down and say why. Hey, I mean, both sides now. I'm thankful uh, for my computer. Your, your health... <laughs> Only 24. It's n going nowhere, but maybe you peak at 31. I thought I you peak health wise at 40. At 40? Yeah. That's like the fucking, what do they at call 40? it? 40? Yeah, that's when, like, I mean, you obviously start aging before then, but, like, that's when, like, your organs actually start declining. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, th I feel like you're, th you're feeling it at, uh, at 40. I already have a rubber hip, so. Yeah, yeah. Chiropractor. Uh, what else you said? house computer it's gonna get old soon oh it's well, gonna i'm get thankful old for soon. it now it's gotten me through fucking six years wow. of just content making wow of just porn watching dude um speaking 
of not porn watching, but uh, content creation. Dude, live breaking news, bro. Um, there's a new channel on YouTube that's old. You know what it is, dude? What? It's goddamn. It's little X Z4, bro. What? It's X Z4, bro. Oh, it's Zach. Your boy, dude. Zach attack. Yeah, what's up, guys? It's your boy Zach here. Just fucking doing the two, bro. Eight views, strong. Killing it, dude. So, here we are. It's finally. Hey, uh, gonna do going some. Down. I can hear Damn, that. I can see that I'm ring light, bro. Oh, I'm you, you know what he talks to... about it, dude. Let me get this bitch in 180, do dude. It. I'm sure. I can. I can hear a little fan in the in the back, Zach. Also, yeah, the audio sounds pretty not that great, Zach. Probably. It sounded a lot better on my on my phone. My phone didn't realize it, anything at all. Headphones on. Why are you gonna start this? Why are you doing this? Why is this gonna happen? Well, Why, dude? Does it I matter? Just, just do it. <laughs> started it actually way back in 2015, what, 2016. Yeah. As a matter of fact, Kidding the point me. is the channel now. Because obviously we're starting a channel. This isn't like I'm just no. gonna post a couple of videos as a project or something like yep. that. I'm actually damn gonna Zach. Try to get this. Don't done forget about for me, real. bro. <laughs> when said, you're a trillionaire, dog. I gotta do it now. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What else? What else do I need to make sure that I say here? We've been missing with the same girl. Music by your boy, dude. By you. Got that sink money, baby. Damn, bro. Let me, let me see this Zach, uh, f- apparently formerly known as Zach Shindig, back in 2016. Hey, guys. It's Zach Shindig here. Finally got my first video up on YouTube. Nice. Uh, it's just a little quick wrench kill montage. Just want to get some. I remember this, bro. Was this at the old house? Yeah, he got a bunch of wrench kills. Adobe House Uno? He talks about Arizona. Thanks for on the channel, so nothing more to do. Hope you guys dig it. Enjoy. Thanks. I hate that music to death. Yeah, he he switched, fucking shit. I've he never switched wanted... up the vibe, dude. Now he's got the cool collar John vibes. Yeah, and uh, it's going hard. Nice. He's already got four backed up vids. Uh, they have thirteen views, featuring his mom, and he put. Uh, a Mama si- Zach. A symbol didn't have enough space. On your phone? No. It just stopped for some reason. Um, <laughs> that's the sound of getting fucked. Um, he's just backing up the content, dude. It's awesome. You love to see it, as the gays say. I'm proud. I'm proud of my son. Dude, this little bit. Hold on, bro. Made me, I like it. Proud of my boy. I can influence content that I became upset. I liked it. Okay. And watching some. Uh, don't have iPhone storage. I'm sorry, all that sweet VHS tape. Oh, I'll put that bitch on Google Photos. This. If you hate me, just let me know. <laughs> like, I would rather you just be upfront with me, like a bro, like a homie, and oh, just say, shit. hey, hey, Bonjen, look, man, I don't like you as a person. <laughs> I don't fuck with your character. I really don't like what you got going on. In fact, your whole mission statement on life is just really but fucking. But I power backward. through. It, dude. You I power, power through. I would way. rather you just be like, "Hey, man, just fucking give up. <laughs> just don't give up. Give up just, on the pod. Just, just throw your no, phone no, away. Keep doing the pod. Keep doing the phone. Just know that I like you less than other people. Okay. Well, you know what? That makes Somebody me feel a little be better. Themselves and give honest commentary on something was 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 so great. I am here to create the. Who exact is your? Com- current favorite youtuber um i mean besides it's xz4 um honestly there's a wrestling channel there's a skating channel and other than that it's just like algorithm clips yeah huh i don't know who i watch who do i watch i watch Rhett and link Watch a lot of special effects videos. That's dope. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, that's cool. Um, yeah. Other than that, not you really. Be- I, I listen to Hamish and Andy, your boys, bro. My boys, yes. Can I play some Hamish and Andy clips? No, I would be insulted if you didn't. These guys, uh, Hamish and Andy, they're 
Australian. Um, and they used to have a radio, and they were killing it. And then they switched to pod, because uh, podding's that shit. Um, and uh, they're that shit. Let me find a good one. Let me find a good one. Let me find a good one. So they <laughs> they invite people to give like special talents. And uh... Elliot, you said on your special skills, you can perfectly draw a line on a piece of paper to a desired length without using a ruler. Yep. Or can perfectly identify the length of a line drawn on a piece of paper to the millimeter. You choose which better. That's yeah. what well, that's, all, that's really what exactly. hooked us in, that yeah. kind of level of flair. Yeah. Is it fair to give you a plus or minus one millimeter margin Yeah, of error? that would be good. Present Elliot the line ham. It's like we've brought in an FBI code breaker. <sighs> yeah. Lock in maybe 8.4. <gasps> Eight point four. He's going with. Is it eight point four centimeters? It's eight point three. Oh, no! It's eight point three, Andy. Uh, good guys over there. Why did I bring them up? Because they're model casters, model potters, and model influencers. I watched them on YouTube one time. They took a fucking trip to like a shaman. Yeah. And uh, did some drugs, dude. Pretty cool. Who are you on? Uh, special effects shit. You know. You know, remember that thing about the Sonic movie? How they had to, like, redesign him? Yes. It's kind of weird that they did that. That they kind of yeah. just, like... I don't know if we're ever going to know it's, that's really what went down. Are you saying, oh, maybe that wasn't what he looked like and it was just for the trailer? It's definitely possible. But it also seems pretty, like, more possible than other things that they might have redesigned it. Yeah, it's just they did it really fucking fast. A thing with like, yeah, like if if uh, if they did redesign it, well, maybe that trailer came out a long time ago, and they were already remaking a new one. I don't know. Yeah, is I'm just like maybe they did it because they damn. knew people would tweet about how bad it looks. I'm I thinking don't... like, <laughs> I feel like if they had. Because they, they released a new design and everyone was like, yes, this is the Sonic we want, right? Yeah. And then the movie came out and it got like okay reviews. I feel like if it was the same movie with the old design, it would have got shit on. It might have had more people go to it. Because maybe like it's it's the fucking, the weird, uh, what's, what's man's, god damn it, the white guy who does the funny like reality. Jim Carrey? No, no, no. Comedy Central, new show, Canadian. Nathan for you. Oh yeah. Like like some bad press shit where it's like, Oh, you got you gotta see how fucking bad it looks, dude. And then people sit through a fucking two hour movie just to say it looks bad and then you get their money. I wonder what the fucking original cut looked like with the Sonic that didn't look like the video game character. I will never know, truly, until probably some podcast in a couple of shit, maybe just months. Um what really ran down at the studios where who, who's it by even who owns the ip <laughs> sega sega so in the oh, i think paramount made it could be wrong though was it good i forgot jim carrey was the evil person did you uh, jim carrey was good yeah jim carrey was just jim carrying it up uh, that's they should honestly because i didn't know he was a villain until i saw a fucking bench a bench a bench with an ad on it Oh yeah, like he, it should have been more about. I think no, he was in the trailer, huh? But it should have been more about fucking Jim Carrey than goddamn Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, it was like a good amount about Jim Carrey, kind of like they they set it up for a sequel pretty well. Mm. Do you know any? Um, well, I mean, there's other characters. Do you know the the Sonic the Hedgehog canon? No. Neither do I really. Nah, well, it's never really into. Sonic the Hedgehog. I think I played it a couple of times. I don't know on fucking what. Maybe like a PSP or something. Maybe a computer. Jim Carrey should have played the Joker. That would have been great. He should in the future. That would be... I think Jim Carrey might be my favorite actor right now. Why right now? Because I was... 
Oh, you watch? Thinking, because I <laughs> no, because good. it's funny because he's I was good, fucking man. uh watch. I was watching a show that he's on. What's it's called? on Showtime or something. It's called Kidding. The he, the the new one. Yeah, he plays. I like watched an episode. A Mister Rogers type guy. Yeah, yeah. And it has that one shot that got famous, like a bunch of like behind the scene moving stuff. I know what you're talking about. I think I watched an episode with you. Oh, we probably did. It was dope. Yeah. Jim Carrey. Good guy, Jim Carrey. Yeah. It's going to be sad when he dies. Yeah. I hopefully, I probably hope he grows be, old. Probably going to be suicide. Nah, dude. I hope he grows old. Really? He yeah. has that, he has that fucking, that comedian mindset where he's like, oh. Yeah, but he has the spiritual thing where he's like, I am nobody. So did, <laughs> so did, uh, oh, dude. what's his fucking name? Who? You know. No. You see it? The guy that killed himself. The guy that killed himself. Robin Williams. He was very spiritual. But like woo woo. He spiritual? was like he was like talking to animals and shit, dude. That I'm not talking about I'm talking about like ethereal spiritual. But he also had a disease. A yeah. brain disease. No, he wasn't talking about like fucking I am the universe and shit. Damn. Fucking Jim Carrey. We'll be right back, Jim Carrey. Stay strong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Don't need a podcast, a podcast. Raping the shit out of that, aren't I like you? it, I like it. The more I press it, the more money. Yo, yo, yo. It's a marching band. I don't really like how it sounds. So, I'm gonna do that. There's a funny Everybody video. Podcast, podcast, Kanye and Kim at the All Star game. Yeah. And she tries to kiss him, and he's like, nah. I didn't see that. You can tell he's over his wife. I mean, or 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 and all. Someone told me. I think it was Miles. He was like, behind every hot girl is a guy that's tired of fucking her. <laughs> it's it's the once you have it syndrome. Yes. Once you have it, it's not as good as as when you were trying to achieve it. Nope. That's why when I got these billions of dollars, I was like, ugh, whatever. What's, what's dude. the point? Now I shovel my money into charities. Ugh. Like, yeah, just take all my money, underprivileged youth. Speaking of charities, Jeff Bezos. What's he doing? Ten billion dollars to fight climate change. Oh, dope, dude. Fuck a kid, am I right? Not enough. No, that's it's awesome. Not, no. That's really awesome more. because no, no, fucking he needs, to give more. he needs a a big fucking profile. First of all, company. Uh, but you know he kind of represents Amazon. To do that is really, really important. I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You <laughs> love you love the Twitter thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, people say things on Twitter. Okay, okay. No one gives a shit about those people, and you bringing it up does nothing. Dude. All right, let's read what this is all about. Um, is it by the Associates? NPR.org. Ugh, not TMZ. Jeff Bezos pledges ten billion to fight climate change, planet's biggest threat. Amazon CEO Jeffy Jeff announced Monday he's committing ten billion Hold on. to fight. Biggest threat? Have they heard of the Jews? <laughs> hey, have they yo, heard yo, of? Shut the fuck yo, up, bro. Fuck Listen up, to the dark racial. Have right. they heard of Walmart online shopping? That shit's gonna take down Amazon. That is on the back end, pretty fucking bad. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos announced Monday he's committing ten billion to fight climate change. Bezos says the funds will go toward creation of the Bezos Earth Fund. This global initiative will fund scientists, Fuck activists, yeah, NGOs, any effort that offers a real possibility to help preserve and protect the natural world. World, he wrote in an Instagram post. I want to, alongside others, both amplify no ways and explore new ways of fighting the devastating impact of climate change on this planet. You know this, what's dope about this is that. At least you can say he didn't. You can't say he didn't try. He probably wouldn't do it 
realistically, if he couldn't make money, which is good for other people with a lot of money because oh, they're, cause they're like, oh, maybe I can make some money off this bullshit. Easily, easily. Nice, easily. continue. Onward. It's going to take collective action from big companies, small companies, nation states, global organizations, and individuals. But some Amazon workers, deeply critical of their employees' own environmental records, says it's Amazon itself that has been complicit in the climate crisis and must change its ways. We applaud Jeff Bezos' philanthropy, but one hand cannot give what the other is taking away. Eh, you could. What are they doing besides? I like, don't know. Factories, probably. Factories. Cars. Cars. Dude, if they just made, if they made just a bunch of, I mean, electric. They should use electric vehicles if it's, they want to do something. It's coming. They just made like a big ass fleet in India, of all countries. One of the countries that needs it the most. They're fucking with India. Of electric in, in shit. Way. Electric shit. So. He's trying to S- India the fuck out of that Amazon shit. Okay, but they said a some lot more. Of people. St- Duff, when is Amazon going to stop helping oil and gas companies ravage Earth with still more oil and gas wells? When is Amazon going to stop funding climate-denying when, think tanks like Competitive Enterprise Institute and climate-denying policy? When they give policy? them less money. When will Amazon take responsibility for the lungs of its children near its warehouses by moving from diesel to all-electric trucking? Yeah, good point, good point. In April, thousands of Amazon workers signed an open letter to Bezos and Amazon's board of directors calling on them to end contracts with oil and gas companies, halt donations to climate change denying lawmakers, and set measurable goals. Pretty pretty, pretty good stuff they're saying. 1,700 workers joined a global climate walkout on September 20th. 1,700? Yeah, not a lot. (laughs) Come on, boys and girls. Yeah. They said, as employee at the world's largest company, uh, our role in facing climate crisis is to ensure a company is leading... On climate not following. A day before the walkout, Amazon addressed the demands, announcing its climate pledge, committing to use 100% renewable energy by 2030 and reach carbon neutrality by 2040. Carbon neutrality? What does that even mean? I don't know. 10 years, you're going to be, what, no oil, it said? Uh, 100% renewable energy. Apple's 100% renewable energy. Damn. Yeah. So what does that mean? Just like... That means that every solar. Th- solar, every fucking thing they make is like all their iPhones now are fucking recycled. Oh. Yeah, all their shit I is mean, recycled. Do they tell people how to recycle their iPhones? I don't know how. You're supposed to give it back to Apple. Yeah. Supposed to. They don't really tell people that. They they do. Like they do like they don't like show it on commercials, but they always they say it every year in their keynotes. <laughs> and they also <laughs> it's not really reaching the public keynote. And also you get when you buy a new iPhone, it's discounted heavily if you turn in your old iPhone, uh-huh, which they recycle. But like, I, didn't, I never knew any of that. The world's second the wealthiest person, jobs. Bill Gates, who Forbes says trails fourteen point five billion, is also making the climate crisis a phil- philanthropic priority. All right, Bill, we know you've been on your game, so it's also fucking Amazon is like basically like a car company and a like giant factory. Car company, factory, so airline. Right now, a lot of <laughs> kind of in the times with the whole oil thing. Leaving leaving a big footprint, yes. Yeah, but you know, shit. But you know. You know, you know what I was thinking, bro? Imagine seeing the transition. I don't know. Did I bring this up before? The transition of, of cars to engine or horses to engine. That must have been crazy. Must have been some shit. They're using goddamn live cattle to get around. And then they're like, yo. We we got the shit from the earth, and uh, we're gonna move with it. That's cool. But also at the time, cars were like kind of slower than horses, so it was probably cool. But it was like, we got horses. I got this horse, dude. I got this horse. <laughs> That's man. some oil shit. Huh? I'll meet you there. <laughs> <laughs> that is some oil shit. Well, but except I mean, Tesla goes pretty fast. Tesla is the fastest car in the world, I think, right now. Fastest consumer car. They had a, a recall. I think it was like 15k for um not test test for some some power steering problems. God damn it. You know why? Elon. Elon was smoking a journey, dude. I knew I knew that shit was no Don't good for him. My pod. I know. I knew that shit was no good for him. <laughs> Elon. Elon, no. Did you see that Robert Downey Jr. and Tom Holland deep fake? No. I don't you gotta want watch it. To Fucking on air. motherfucker, watch that shit. I am typing it in. Deep fake. Yes, it's uh, a Back to the Future deep fake. Five months ago? Might be. 
Tom Holland as Marty McFly? Yes. As Marty McFly? Watch it. Or Robert Downey Jr. as well? Yes. Easy Rider X47. I like the text. I like the text. This is Robert Downey Jr. and Tom Holland. Is that Tom Holland? No, that's the original. Oh. It uh, is? No, it's not. Dude. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's oh, wait, no, you're right. It's not. It's just their faces? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Is that that's what? glasses on his head, or is that a bed? Damn. This is crazy. Amazing. You can bring anyone from the dead. This is other people's faces being perfectly put on to an old movie. Wow. Wow. Scary. Anything is possible. So is deepfake just an overarching term or is it like a program? Deepfake is an overarching term okay. when you use artificial intelligence to fake something. Nice, a lot nice. of people misuse it and say, oh, I'm going to Photoshop some girl's head onto a, a naked body. You might as well. That's not deepfake. That's just bad Photoshop. Yeah, we've all seen that in the ads. That's Deep fake. That's the deepest, fakest I've ever seen. You know, there's a lot of them on, like Trump and Obama and Bush. Who's to say it's not on TV? Who's to say it's not in your ears on your podcast? It is. This is fake. I'm actually Robert Downey Jr. I'm Tom Holland. <laughs> this is dark racial humor. We do it. Hello, uh, <laughs> Governor. <laughs> Tom Holland's in a lot of fucking movies right now. Tesla recalled 3,000 Model Xs. Vehicles in China. Whoa. Yeah. They yeah. need it there, though. Um, hello, hello, hello. It's all this then. Shout out to the... <laughs> that one was still pretty American. Shout out to the boys in the hole, dude. I was watching... One thing I love being around cable for is to watch some good old-fashioned non-American football. But... uh. I can bring up another. What, what, what time are we at over here? Um, ten twenty-five. Okay, this should just start. I got some fun sports news. Hey, I don't know if this is sports, but who's Ryan Newman? Rat NASCAR crash. Uh, yeah, I saw that on Twitter. So big. This is a sports thing, but big? it's NASCAR, so it doesn't really matter. So we're doing in the middle. <laughs> big boom boom. Um, Big boom boom crash. Daytona 500 is their uh, big race in NASCAR. Yeah. And um, yeah, apparently he crashed. I didn't see anything, but you can bet I'm going to go on YouTube, find some footage, and play that audio for oh, the gosh. sweet, sweet listeners of Dark Rachel Humor. Um, yeah, so what they do in NASCAR is uh, just drive a bunch and then see who wins at the end. Dude, I was also watching goddamn surfing. Ryan Newman. Ryan Newman crash. Let's see that bad boy. And now to the breaking news at no. the Daytona 500. One of the sports veteran drivers rushed to the hospital after a heart-stopping crash on the final lap. CBS. Oh, uh, on the final lap, dude. Probably I wonder got, if he's in the lead. Probably got cocky. Bitch. Dick Brennan live in our newsroom now. Dick. Yeah. Dick Brennan. Heart-stopping indeed. Maurice driver Ryan Newman was moments away from winning his second. Oh, uh, lame. Daytona 500. Until the driver he was battling with for the win spun him out. Oh, hit that shit. Oh, here we go. Oh, he got hit. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, that's what people who watch NASCAR are looking for, bro. That reminds me of his tweet. I think it was Chance the Rapper. <laughs> and he said something along the lines of, Man, I wish cars could talk. Uh-huh. This was a while ago, like before he was like famous. And, yeah. and, and uh, Tyler, the creator, tweeted him, Boy, do I got a movie for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny, dude. Ryan Newman, let's see if he's, uh, he's okay. NASCAR confirmed that Ryan Newman is in serious condition with non-life-threatening injuries after the horrifying accident. In serious condition? What does that mean? Watch as his I believe that's a step below critical. 
Uh-huh. Yes. Gets bumped from behind by fellow driver Ryan Blaney as the two fight towards the finish line. Damn. So the the top three from were coming in, and the third guy hit the second guy and kind of made him a little unstable, apparently. Driver Ryan Blaney and then the second the two fight towards the goes right behind Mr. Newman. And really just fucks him up. Newman's car then spins Newman out, spinning. slamming into the wall and eventually going Got hit by a car. Hit on the driver's side by another Ooh, the driver's car side. Miles per hour. Ooh, it boy. Burst into flames with Newman inside yeah, he's... as teams rushed to his rescue. Moments later, driver Denny Hamlin won the race for the second consecutive year by inches, prompting a wild celebration as rescue personnel quickly transported Newman to a nearby hospital. The owner of Hamlin's car and famed Washington Redskins coach Joe Gibbs later in shock at the finish line. I just apologize for everybody and say I think it was everybody in here. We're celebrating. You see a wreck, but you don't, you know, really realize that how serious it was. Everybody's praying and they're lifting up Ryan. The driver who sent Newman airborne, Corey LaJoy, tweeted LaJoy. he had no place to go and only saw smoke. Newman skidded across the finish line, actually listed as finishing ninth. Um, hey, good night. Step <laughs> it up, dude. Are you Step sure it the fuck Hit driver's side 200 miles per hour, but I mean, that should go forward, right? That shit sucks, dude. Fucking crash. Yeah, Newman is in his 19th season as a NASCAR driver, the last NASCAR driver to die on the track. Yeah, maybe time to wrap it up. Dale wrap the career. At the Daytona I don't know about the, the tactic of this I man know. by saying last driver to die. <laughs> Yeah, Newman is in his 19th season as a he NASCAR die driver. Yet. The last Maybe NASCAR soon. driver to die on the track was the legendary Dale Earnhardt. He's in serious condition with non-life-threatening injuries. So walk it off. It's a fucking his fucking mamba mentality, that bitch. Changes that likely saved Ryan Newman's life. Once I'm again. starting to see <laughs> what? Kobe Bryant memes, and it's making me sad. Uh, was what, are you, what are we looking at here? <laughs> it was. It was like Kobe, like in the clouds, looking disappointed, like sitting, looking real serious. And the caption was Kobe watching the All Star defense from heaven. <laughs> I mean, hey man, that's that good shit. That's not good shit. It's that good that's shit. Not good shit. That's that it's Kobe Bryant. <laughs> it's literally the best shit. If I'm gonna laugh at 9/11, I have to laugh at, not at Kobe Bryant. 9/11 was 20 fucking years ago. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh day of, dude. Oh my god! It's I said, hey, how about those Giants day of? It was it was September 11th. I was in preschool and I said, oh boy, looks like looks like someone's not going to school tomorrow. I said, mm. probably didn't say that. My, my mother was getting donuts. Was she? Apparently. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Dude, I was thinking. So she was saying she. She knew what was going on because, like, these Navy moms were talking. Ooh. And I was like, <laughs> real Navy moms of Coronado. <laughs> <laughs> well, today's episode. Oh, shit. But it, it's, a, it's a, like a military town. So I'm, I was thinking, and I never thought before, like, damn, these motherfuckers over here were like, oh, fucking, we're fucking manning down the forts, bro. They probably thought it was going to go coast to coastal, bro. They're probably like, yo, fucking suit up. Let's get it. <laughs> Get it, motherfuckers. It's like, God damn, I've been on the beach all day. World War Three, I've been this bitch. This next war is going to last 20 years plus. Oh, man. Huh. The documentary on that, that bush in the sky was real good. He was, there was, uh, they were talking about, I was like, someone was, was saying that he said, uh, we're, we're at war. And I was like, well, I must have been crazy. A war with these demons, bro. There's this fucking phenomenal Twitter. If I had to give a Twitter award, it would be this one. It's just this guy, and he's just like he's just simping all uh, day, just yeah, simping dude. all day. Let me fucking let me <laughs> yeah, read dude, you some. Let me, let me read you some of these tweets, please. This is from at Lil J One K. We're gonna end, <laughs> we're, Lil J1K. we're gonna end okay. the episode with this. End with this. The episode. It's the second trimester. It's the third, fam. Oh, is it? Yeah. I'm not ending with. I'm fucking okay. Say your Twitch shit. <laughs> is it okay to cry? I got a lot on my mind. When will the pain and suffering end? I'm down bad. In the PS4 party all alone. If nothing is matters... Famous or just a random person? A random person. If nothing matters, why does it hurt? Another Friday night in the crib staring at the ceiling. Gonna do a lot of reflecting today. Crying with the lights off. The suffering won't end. Spiraling down the depths of despair. I'll never be enough. How did you find Lil, Lil, Lil JX? Someone retweeted him or someone was liking him or some shit. Could and every time he hits... Uh, 
a follower milestone, he'll be like ninety thousand niggas laughing at my pain. A hundred thousand yeah, niggas. Th- that's just fake. Huh? Oh yeah, it's like a okay, parody okay. account. I thought you said I th- okay when you said I just found him. I th- I thought it was a random. Oh no no no! no, no, no. Okay, it's okay. like yes. a parody account, yes, 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 but yes. like it's not anyone famous. Okay okay, I mean but yeah that's what I meant by famous. Like it's famous. Life is meaningless. Been down for so long, I forgot which way is up. Every day I wake up in agony. Damn, I want her. Gonna cry, <laughs> <laughs> gonna cry till I pass out. Why don't she want me, man? God, I'm coming up. Hit rock bottom, but I keep falling. <laughs> Thinking Damn. about it all. Damn, I want her. All my happiness is gone. What have I become? Is it Thinking about changing. Every four days, damn, I want her. Not Kobe, man. All I know, <laughs> <laughs> all I know is suffering. <laughs> Once oh, again, man. I'm all alone. I think God forgot about me. Damn, I want her. Another. <laughs> it, oh, God. This okay. is, this is I'm going to com- end the episode the right way. My life is a comedy. He's in range. He shoots in time. See, it's it's everybody's favorite fucking hour, sports hour with people who care about sports. The real LA football, John. Is it is it Rams? Is it the other team, the Chargers? Who's the football team of LA, dude? Uh the other team. What? I don't know. Just who's who's the football team of the LA? Oh, You're wrong. The LA Wildcats. Dude. It's the worst name. Your boy. The Wildcats of LA. So we have three teams. This team is in the XFL Football League. Have you heard of it? This pain is unbearable. Can't keep doing this to myself. The XFL. Damn, I hate the real me. <laughs> is a new football league. That was an old football league, but owned and created by Vince McMahon of WWE fame. Have you heard of him? You've never heard of Vince McMahon. Can't wait to cry tonight. <laughs> the XFL mm. is a football league after the NFL league. When they first came out before, it was like 2000 something. And uh, they basically just like put fire rock rockets on everything and try to have like naked women. And uh, I'm not gonna let you get in, dude. I'm not gonna let you get it. This in. one's good. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna continue to continue to talk about XL football. Bald niggas take the longest in the barber shop. It's ridiculous. Apparently, I got some insight on this from from Joe Budden. So it's it's hard to get that coarse coarse black hair if you're bald and and going black, <laughs> bald and going black. And he was talking about how it's it's uh, hard to get a nice bald bald shave. Let me hit that. Let me get the second one out, dude. Oh, uh, I was just going to ask. How is Joe Budden doing? I think he's doing okay. No, I was going to ask, why are you going to the barbershop if you're bald? Well, because, okay, this is this is li- literally Joe Budden's commentary on being bald. And, cause it, it, a lot Unless of people, you're going for that gentleman shave, which I... A lot of people that you see that are bald are not actually bald. They're just shaved. Yeah. It's a shaved thing. And, like, some sometimes these... Uh, apparently the goddamn Puerto Ricans in, in New York can't give him a, a, a proper shave. Because they don't have the, the single edge razor blade? It's because they don't have a lot of black people, apparently. Just fucking Damn, Joe. Latinos. Joe. He's sh- racist, bro. I've been sh- trying to... <laughs> Joe, I'll, shave I'll, your own I'll, damn I'll head, dude. He's fucking rich. He's got Spotify. He's just probably not that rich. XFL, dude. Who are your boys? Are they the LA Wildcats? Are they the... I guess it's the Wildcats. The Houston Roughnecks? This is their theme song. You might like it. Do you like it? No, not at all. I hate it. Not even a little bit. But what about the Dallas Renegades, dude? What is their theme like? More lame, dude. So uh, you have the Atlanta Dream. You have your boys, the LA Wildcats, dude. Do Do you care to look up? the xfl standings and don't answer that not just, quite just say what you know you need to say which is yes dude uh your boys the la wildcats are just sitting in last place in the west they're own too um it's not looking good there's only 10 games how about my clips though my san diego clippers dude are oh. coming in 
My at Clippers. Nice. Number three, now five games behind the Los Angeles Lakers and four games behind, well, I guess one game behind, but the Nuggets are behind four games. Now, the All-Star break just happened. Did you watch? A little bit. Wasn't really too what pumped did you, on it. What did you watch? Because there's multiple events. The it's, it's, dunk contest, kind of. It's the greatest um, entertainment of a sport the all-star weekend is it's it's the it's it's pound for pound the best sporting entertainment besides oh. maybe some wrestling but like of like it's a really bad chance the rapper uh dunk no um performance yeah i saw like dude so do you know damian lillard no <laughs> he's a basketball player but he also rapped and he rapped and it wasn't awesome like it wasn't bad, but and then Lil Wayne came out. DJ Khaled was there, and also Jeremiah. And I did not know what Jeremiah looked like. Fucking um, there are fucking two of those. Dude? What's his face? Thank you. Chance the rapper sang his part on a Kanye West song. Um, oh hi, on a Kanye West song, and Kanye West was sitting there, didn't even <laughs> like jump up, say his part. Like it was his dude, fucking song. They had Carmen do everything because Carmen's from Chicago. Oh yeah. Yeah. Kanye West is from Chicago, too. Yeah, but Kanye is Kanye. And Kanye is a, a bigger draw than Common, so it's like, does does Kanye really want to do the all-star game? Kanye's like, they ran out of money, so I'm just going to sit here. They gave all the money they were going to pay me to Chance. I didn't. I don't like Chance. I don't either. Dude, that dunk I contest, though, was amazing. Nice. It was very good. And the all-star game, they had a new format, and it was competitive as fuck. You have to win each quarter, and there's an aggregate score at the end. Yeah. And then the fourth quarter, you had to play to 24 from the total. Damn, I wish I could really tap into this culture. It was good. Because my fucking sister's boyfriend and my dad were making all kinds of great conversation <laughs> over the weekend. I just really couldn't jump in, you know, <laughs> to bond, but, you know. Damn, you had a, a boyfriend that went to Oregon, bro? Yeah. Oh, wow. Great guy. Shout out, Jared. Don't great, get attached. Great guy. Don't get attached. Uh, I'm not attached. If there's she, one thing. She's pretty attached. <laughs> they live together, but. Oh, wow. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Three and a half years. They've been together or been living? Been together. And you moved? Huh? Which one is this, dude? Rachel. Rachel. Listen to me, dude. What the fuck are you think you're doing, dude? What's his name? She sounds like she got to figure it out. <laughs> does she? she well, got what job. does he do, bro? Is he what an engineer? He, he works for the... I think he works for the Oregon Lottery. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Doing what? I don't know. Analytics? Something. He works from home. Huh. Yeah, so you know. State job? What's your, what's your, what does your Rachel do? She does something. Jesus. Every time I see her, she has a new job, so I just uh. stopped asking. What is it the same field? Uh no. Last time she was a receptionist and now she's something else. My sister's about to quit her job up in uh Bay Area. And go potting full time? Brought her on the cast, bro. We've got the second uh the second on the network. Did she do the Rachel episode where it's just them talking to each other and we're not even in it? Uh I've I've brought up a Rachel episode, I brought up a, a mother episode. Um can't do the father, but I can see what I can do. <laughs> Damn, dude, you gotta. No, I'm, I'm, my mother's married. I pull those. Them, dude. <laughs> pull some strings. Let's get the biological say father. Say what you episode. were gonna say, dude. Say what you were. Gonna that say. is what I was gonna say. Oh, okay. Let's I just couldn't. I just couldn't say it. Like, um, but yo, we're way over. Like, you know, anything over an hour, we don't get paid for. So, let's get the fuck out of here. Catch you guys later, motherfuckers. Wednesday. Peace out. Thanks for listening. Bye.